Well, if the band sounds fired up, it's because they are, folks. Joining me now in studio, <laughs> not only the queen of daytime, not only a national best-selling author, but hot off the presses, we've got a new book out. It's called Faith Still Moves Mountains, Miraculous Stories of the Healing Power of Prayer. Harris Faulkner is in the house. Hey, girl. Well, hello. You were my, my seatmate at the Patriot Awards. That's a thing. We and had- it was so much fun. Fun and you, you killed it on stage. I mean, just oh, Harris. so funny. And I, because I haven't seen you live, yes, I oh, mean, that's outside true. Of the studio that, and on that my is, show, <laughs> but that's no, that's true. That was actually your first time watching me do stand up. Yeah. And uh, I gotta be honest, I was slightly distracted. There was a woman at the head table in a yellow dress. <laughs> 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 Do you know it's, it's so funny because the Patriot Awards, as I said on stage, it's the Oscars with camouflage. Okay, mm-hmm. we're saluting a lot of brave, heroic men and women. I wear my camo on the inside. Oh, girl. So Harris is a team. And I had a three-foot-long ponytail, so I was really throwing some people off. That was It was so gangster. But I, for me, selfishly, I loved it because I was sitting next to you, and you get so much camera time because you <laughs> are a human parade float. So I'm just <laughs> sitting at the table. Oh I'm just like, she actually has a person who throws lollipops pops behind her as she walks down oh, the street. It's hilarious. an actual parade float. But I got so much screen time just by sitting at your table. It was a win for I, me. How so did thank I just you. get turned into Charlie Wonka? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You got moves. candy's being thrown behind me. Listen, you've got moves. Really quick. We have so much substance to get into, but you said something to me. You're doing a digital book signing uh, in the villages. Is that where this is? Or explain this to the me. Villages, so don't screw it up. The villages. <laughs> <laughs> Barnes and Noble down in the villages of Florida. And I'm so excited. Um, we did something at the Patriot Awards, and I've been doing it ever since at book signings, we started doing prayer circles. Okay. Because what I realize is when people read Faith Still Moves Mountains, just the mm-hmm. title of it, they begin to contemplate what they can do in their own lives. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the journey for me. I well, mean, I, I'm called to be a witness. I'm not called to prophesize. The divine assignment on my life mm-hmm. is to tell other people's stories. I'm a journalist. And it just so happens that these are faith testimonies, these stories are. And people are finding them as, like, fuel mm-hmm. to the fire. Mm-hmm. And they're ready to pray. And I say, well, while we're all together, don't look, Fauci. We're going to hold hands. <laughs> and then everyone gets a ticket for not social distancing. It's a whole to-do. But you know no, what? Kidding. We're all taking it for the team, baby. What a rebel. The spiritual that, team. That Harris Faulkner. Well, you talk about the spiritual team. Let me give you a great line that's in this book. This is a fascinating book. If you're a guy listening to the show, you specifically would be drawn to— It's weird. The vernacular of this book about prayer. Here's the line. Are you ready for it? I wrote this down. I wrote it down. Okay, right before the passage on persistence, because, you know, you break the book down along. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, this is the line. Prayer is more than just wishful thinking. It's discipline. It's warfare. It's how we fight back against darkness. Like to to a guy like me who like, you know, I grew up in one of those intellectually stunted houses where we can only (laughs) we can only communicate through sports references. You know what I mean? That's good too. Like if it's like if it's if it's if it's bad news, I'm like the Yankees suck. But if it's like good news, oh the Yankees. You know, and that's how you'd always communicate with them in your life. But the vernacular of this book, it really is pretty cutting in that it speaks to this efficiency in all of us of wanting to do better and do better for those around us. I actually really enjoyed this one, Harris. Well, thank you. How and you know, it? I was raised by a warrior. Well, that's what and I was there are a lot of you. warriors in the Bible. Mm-hmm. And what I try to get people to do, and I can't even believe you read the book. So I feel blessed for that because you know Jimmy's busy. Oops. Um, but but what I want people to do is to whatever season that they're in mm-hmm. to look at this book is kind of an entry, mm-hmm. an entryway to better best whatever's coming. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what age you are. Although tremendously, a lot of young people are reading the book mm-hmm. because it teaches you how to get started praying. There's a glossy insert. Jesse yep. Waters loves this part because <laughs> um, he loves a glossy insert. And those are original prayers. Got together with a theologian to come. Mm-hmm. Come to because it's got to be short. Yeah. Because other people can't imagine. That's why they don't always turn to the Bible. It's it's they're not quite there yet in their faith walk. Mm-hmm. So, but the idea of a warrior, the world wants us to give up the fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is real. Spiritual warfare is real. The devil is alive. I'll say he's not well, but he's alive. <laughs> he's, he's walking the planet. Up. He's got a lot of disciples, mm-hmm. and if we want great things in our lives against all the obstacles that we'll always fa- face, mm-hmm. you know, I lost my dad on Christmas Day in 2020. Now I don't have a living parent, and my kids are still young. That's a mountain, and mm-hmm. I've been praying about how do you move the the sorrowful heart that I still have for the last two years. Um, but you do pray your way through it. 
You, you get, do. You get it done. Harris Faulkner is in the studio. The new book, Faith Still Moves Mountains, Miraculous Stories of the Healing Power of Prayer. Um, oh, I have one announcement. Come on, Harris. So in the last 72 hours, Ooh. I have a number one New York Times bestselling book. <laughs> Where we're moving on now. <laughs> yeah. To the side. Take off the apron, baby. What? We are oh going goodness. out. Tonight, girl. Just call me Wheezy. Oh, Wheezy. We are going out tonight. <laughs> Thank girl. Congratulations. You that. Thank you. That's a big deal. It, it is a big and deal. I'm going to put my yellow was... dress back on from the Patriot <laughs> The Awards. yellow dress is back. It might be money green now, girlfriend. Let's not oh, lie. No. Um, and by the way, we didn't even know that was coming. That's how good the audio timing is on this show. You just said that. <laughs> You just said that, and we knew to have the Jeffersons ready. You're That's very impressive. funny. No, no, we're not messing around, Harris Faulkner. So let me ask you this, because faith can move mountains. Mm -hmm. uh, but can faith move domestic energy production back to this country? Because there's things going on in Venezuela right now. Of course it can. That my audience has a, 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 an issue with. You take it away. I mean, this is crazy. But the devil is at work here, right? Yeah. So the devil would this. love for us, mm -hmm. as a beacon of light on this planet, to do business with the dirtiest oil providers, with dictators, mm -hmm. which, by the way, I, I wondered if this was still true. So okay. I started looking at this. Mm -hmm. Screams often spill out. This is in the Washington Post. Mm -hmm. Screams often spill out in the halls of the headquarters of Venezuela's intelligence service agency, investigators say. They found that detainees who are often journalists, activists, or government opponents are routinely subjected to beatings, rape, electrical shock, oh Mutilation, asphyxiation, and other types of torture. This was dated less than 45 days ago. That's insane. And this is who yeah, we're... This is still going on. September 21st, 2022 mm -hmm. at 844 in the morning Eastern time. That story hit the Washington Post. And so mm -hmm. why is Biden and his administration, why are they doing a deal with Venezuela so that Chevron can go and produce oil there, but we can't be energy independent. Why? Yeah. Senior officials say because they want to ease the sanctions, um, not driven by the oil market pressures or prices, instead to respond to Venezuela's regime's deci decision this week to negotiate with the opposition groups. They're what? torturing them. Yes. As of September 21st. I mean, do they think we're stupid? Yes. They do. And yes, God can move that mountain, mm -hmm. but you got to get the devil move first. Mm -hmm. So so we're in it for the warfare with our prayers here. And all of that aside, back to the politics for mm -hmm. just a second. Do they think we're stupid? <laughs> they do, but they do think we're stupid. That's the problem. Uh, it, Why it, can't we do what we can do here, Jimmy? Well, the frustration is, I think, for a lot of people that there might be good intentions behind the green energy movement. But those good intentions are the vessel through which they're but traveling. But they're drinking. Yes. <laughs> they're people that don't understand the energy market or don't understand the economy. Because there's no world where we can get out of bed and do this without fossil fuels probably in the next 200 Fact. years. We can't. So, Fact. But knowing that's the starting point, the, we're just pretending from here. And if we're burning fuel cleaner in this country by outsourcing it to other countries, what I always say is this is like, you know, the mafia doesn't get their hands dirty. They cut a check for somebody else to do the deed. That's what we're doing. This is an ACDC song, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap. We're having them produce this energy, but then what does it cost? More energy to get it back into the country. So all these clean energy people, maybe they are good. Okay, maybe some of them are good. Okay. Well, but they, yeah, yeah, not everybody yeah, is of bad. Course. But that doesn't mean they understand. At which point, you know, if you're in a bar and your buddy's acting up, you got to go get him. Is okay, this, you got to go get him. Is this segueing to Alyssa Milano? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's coming! She's so good at this. You should have two shows. Harris Faulkner. I do. I know. I'm aware. I'm on one of them tomorrow. Harris Faulkner's in studio. So Alyssa Milano over the weekend, so great. I love a celebrity virtue signal more than anybody. I like people who read. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's that. We are out of luck here, but stick with me. No, I'm kidding. We'll get there. So Alyssa Milano over the weekend announces to the world that she's traded in her Tesla for a Volkswagen because Elon Musk is empowering Nazis by allowing free speech on the app, at which point she is quickly educated about the fact that Volkswagen's origins aren't the best origin story when it comes to World War II and their involvement with the Nazis, which was kind of funny. And I think she was on the wrong end of a ratio of about 98,000 likes within the first hour. That's pretty crazy stuff. Um, but what I find fascinating is we've turned a lot of politics, Harris, into a branding exercise. And branding meaning it reflects well on you personally in your social circles to say, hey, I care about the environment or I care about people or I care about injustice. Mm -hmm. But there is, as you just said, so much injustice 
behind the green energy movement, whether it's Venezuela torturing people or us getting uh, solar panels that are made in the Uyghur province of China where they're produced that by is slave labor. I mean, but that's what we're doing. Those are facts. So it's, it's good branding to say I support green energy, but if you look just a, an inch below the surface, there is so much human injustice. So how did branding in that sense mm-hmm. also be coupled? How could it be coupled with I know nothing? Mm-hmm. I don't read. I don't study. In fact, I'll just tweet with no knowledge. That's mo- <laughs> sad, but that's most of what's out there because it's it's the convenience of this in social media. Again, it's not so much about getting it's the it- judgment of yeah, this. That's We're what being it is. judged for for knowing the difference between cow patties and yeah. And chocolate cookies. <laughs> well, there's a line in the book, okay, that really does apply to what we're doing in politics. I'm just going to bounce back and forth. Early on in the book, you well, talk— I've never had anybody do this. <laughs> hey! Yeah, everybody it's usually just— book. I know. Everybody <laughs> usually just reads the jacket and moves on with their life. No, Harris, if you're going to come by and talk about your book, we're going to read the book and discuss it. He read it. There's a line early on where you talk about everyone's individual faith journey and how it's all IKEA furniture and that there's some assembly required. Look at you. Quote, you didn't even read that. You just said that from your brain. Girlfriend, I'm paying attention. Okay, but stick with me now. Uh, I find that so fascinating because I think in this day and age that overlaps with everything, not just your faith journey, but your political journey. Because what are we discussing? There's a lot of people out there that didn't build the furniture. They just want the credit for being like, hey, I bought the mom, you know, or whatever the dresser's called or the kursk or whatever it's called. But they didn't bother to build it. So nobody knows what they're talking about. You know, and wow, I, I, it's it's a fascinating. I'm taking time to you be. on the book tour. I'm saying, <laughs> villages. I'm coming back. I'm coming back uh, to see the ladies. Oh, they would love that. That's oh, your demo, baby. We had. A- <laughs> I mean, my mom thought you were cute. Oh, hold on. Get her on the line. We got to talk about this. Well, she's deceased. No, but get (laughs) anybody. It'll be a very long line. Okay. (laughs) Um, But no, you know, it's interesting because not knowing and going to find your faith and and Mm -hmm. tapping into prayer and tapping into the Bible, that's your season and God meets you right there. Mm -hmm. Not knowing and, and jumping into the world of Twitter is not reality, and it requires that you know some stuff. Because when you don't, then you find out that the company that you traded your American-made Tesla for was started by Nazis under the German labor front, Mm -hmm. which was Hitler's. Yep. And then a year later when they, I don't know what they figured out, but they decided to call the company the People's Company. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not really sure what was going on there. Maybe somebody clued them in. Yeah, yeah. Um, But how could she not even... Think I'm I'm going to trade in an American-made vehicle, Alyssa mm-hmm. Milano, yep. and then I, I'm just going to throw out all directions in life, like IKEA furniture. Just throw it out, <laughs> wing it, and go out and buy the one car that, it, yeah, yeah, for this reference, should not have bought. No, in the assembly required version of that tweet, she did not bring an Allen key to the phone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, we are like the sober. <laughs> Going deep. Faith is, still moves mountains. This is a sober hit, the book. Oh my Faith still moves mountains, miraculous stories of the healing power of prayer. I'm going to throw two at you that blew me away. Okay. Uh, really quickly. One of them is about the horrific movie theater shooting out in Aurora, Colorado mm. during a you know a showing of the oh, Batman movie. Oh, the mom movie, was amazing. In where that. the mom hovers over the kid, the mom goes into prayer and says she assumes she's going to die, but has somehow made peace with the scenario because I guess yeah. prayer had just leveled her out. Uh, when you hear stories like that, because that's the stuff to me that's the most powerful because it's in a situation of absolute helplessness where you actually feel like you've somehow helped yourself. And that's where I think this book is really empowering to people, even if they're on the fence about religion and the role that faith plays in shaping who we are. That's a really profound moment because it's not a person saying, you know, it's all going to work out. It's just a person, you know, thanks for the memories. It's a captain going down with a ship who miraculously winds up not going down. Oh, well, and it's also a person who's not saying I give up. Yeah. I give this to God. Mm Mm-hmm. Ernestine in the prayer closet. Yeah. All of those houses along her block in 2019, Lee County, Alabama. I I believe former yeah. President Trump went there when this outbreak had happened. It was so monumental at the time, um, at the time, three years yeah. ago. But when she survives, broken hip from the, from the twister outbreak, mm-hmm. she survives inside a structure that's wet and worn from all of the rain and wind yeah, and yeah. everything. And when the EMT show up, she's screaming, thank you, Lord. Thank you. And she said she prayed thank you for the life you've given me and if it is your will 
thank you for what's ahead while she was surviving the storm. Um, that is mustard seed faith that, yeah. th- that we talk about. It's it's indestructible. It seems tiny, and then it grows to where we reach God with that faith in just a moment's notice. But it is his timing. Yeah. And you're right. It doesn't always mean that you survive or that you come out, you know, the way that you want to come out of something. Mm-hmm. But the storm is important. That's why you pray in life when things are good before the storms come. I'm so... Yeah. Right now, I am bowled over by that you would re- read oh, anything in my book. S- stop it, Harris Faulkner. I, I feel so blessed by that. I know you're raising a child, a teenager like I am, a couple of them. Mm-hmm. And when they see us do the things that foundationally work, mm-hmm. rather than what the world tells them, yep. that is the that is such powerful parenting. And, and I know a lot of parents are reading the book, and I'm very grateful. I want to say thank you. It means a lot that you're reading it. We are, the, as parents, we are the offensive line of society. Oh. I love you the make, football you, reference. Yeah, you can make what? a lot of plays that don't show up you know in the box score. You need to call about an offensive line? Give it to me. Aaron Rodgers. That <laughs> was a long one. It was a long one for the Packers. She always leaves you with some football. I'm a Chiefs fan. I know. Of course you are. <laughs> Big day for Harris Faulkner and the high-flying Kansas City Chiefs. The book, Faith Still Moves Mountains, Miraculous Stories of the Healing Power of Prayer. Read it. Call in. You can discuss it with me. I'm pretty well-versed at this oh, point. Apparently. I'm like, I'm like your second-string copy editor at this point, but it can, was fun. Can I ask you a quick question? Mm-hmm. Um, we talk about like the prayer closet, places to pray. I always say you need a time, a place, and to be alone every mm-hmm. day. Doesn't have to be fancy. Doesn't mm-hmm. have to be a long time. Where do you like to pray? Um, for real, it's usually two places. Okay, one is just up at night, just talking about things. Yeah. You know, I'm very, there's a lot of gratitude in my life. Mm-hmm. This is the other weird thing I do, and I'll do this in thirty seconds. Uh oh. I pray for random people, like I just pass them on the street. Do you? And I'm really? like, hey, could you help help that chick out? She's a mess, or she looks like she's having a good day. Give her, make it better, or that guy, or this. You're guy. an intercessor. Is that what that is? That what that that's called? Yeah, it is. And a lot of times people say, "Girl, I'll pray for you," and they don't because they don't know that it can be just as simple as what you it's described. Just, in the words of the Red Hot Chili Peppers, just give it away, give it away. Well, give I it wasn't away going now. there. 